Now imagine if I had Houdini when I started working on Renapu. For instance, I would be able to input all my fields right here as masks so I could tell where to put the trees. And this is the mask for the spruce tree, which I've currently generated. And uh, yeah, it's it's made uh, by a combination of slope, height, and occlusion masking. So if I enable them one by one again, you can see the effect is having. Now, if I enable viewing the trees, I'll enable the uh, terrain for a little bit. And if I unfold the amount of trees here, so it's not 2,000 and 3,000 trees for each spruce type, but 35 and 25, 1,000. Um, and I disable these masks. You can see a drastic change going on here. Like, where do they go? Well, and the distribution is crazy realistic. Now, let's add some birch to the mix. I actually have this mask here as well, which is a little bit different. Let's see, let's check the correct one. So it's heavily dependent on slope, especially, like you can see, and the height. But it's also been cut out depending on where the spruce trees are growing. The birch will adapt, as you can see here. This is the combination of birch and spruce. So let's add some birch to the mix. And up it by tenfold to 25,000. Quite nice. So I'll disable the incoming terrain here as well. So in a matter of a few minutes, I've been able to place, uh, I I'm slow at maths, but a lot of trees, <laughs> around 70,000. 80,000, I don't know, uh, but I should be able to output this to GE and then replace with a random selection of broadleaf and uh, needle trees in a matter of minutes. So even a huge 16x map like this can be populated with ease. 